So I've got this friend, I'll call him John. John's first exposure to the whole concept of hell was when he was watching a Tom and Jerry cartoon when he was younger. And what was intended to be this humorous cartoon all of a sudden turned into this hellacious nightmare when Tom did something bad to Jerry and was thrown into hell as a result. And later, John was at his church and he was talking with an older man about what he'd seen. And the older man looked at John and said, John, you don't want to go to hell, do you? John said, no. And so the man looked back at him and said, okay, pray this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, John kind of paused. There's some awkward silence. And then he realized he was supposed to say exactly what the man had said. So he said, dear Jesus. And the man continued, I know that I'm a sinner and I believe that Jesus died for my sins. And I ask you to come into my heart and save me. And then when they were finished, the man looked at John and said, son, now you can know that you are saved from your sins and you don't ever have to worry about hell again. Is that true? Is this really what it means to become a disciple of Jesus? Is this really what it means to follow him? You look back at the first disciples in the Bible, and when Jesus came up to them and said, follow me, that was not an invitation to pray a prayer. That was a summons for these men to lose their lives. But somewhere along the way, 2,000 years later, amid varying cultural ties and popular church trends, we have virtually missed that call. With good intentions, with sincere desires to reach as many people as possible for Jesus, we've taken challenging words from Christ and turned them into trite phrases in the church. And in the process, we've drained the lifeblood out of Christianity and replaced it with a watered-down version of the gospel that is so palatable, it's not even real anymore. And the consequences are catastrophic. Scores of men, women, and children culturally identify themselves as Christians today who biblically are not followers of Christ. Is that possible? Absolutely it is. In fact, according to Jesus, it's probable. He said at the end of his most famous sermon, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name, drive out demons and perform many miracles, and I will tell them, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Those are some of the most frightening words in all of the Bible. As a pastor, I stay awake some nights, haunted by the thought that many people, many people who are sitting in church on Sunday will be shocked to stand before Jesus one day and hear him say to them, I never knew you. Away from me. We desperately need to take a look at our lives and our churches and ask the question, are we really biblically, personally following Jesus? Eternity is dependent on how we answer that question.